Imagine packing your bags because you're going to move to Edinburgh. Maybe you've got a new job and you have to come to Edinburgh to live. Maybe you're coming to university. Where are you going to stay? Let's have a look at Edinburgh on a nice dull day. You must prepare for that. You're not always going to have beautiful, scorching hot weather. When it is scorching, it's probably one of the best cities that you could possibly be in. I did a video last week on Stockbridge and that was one of my favourite locations to stay. So today I'm going to do my second favourite, which is Morningside. And all the way up that way, Brunsfield Links and right up to Holy Corner, where the universities are. Napier University, Edinburgh University is in close proximity. All the private schools and the state schools are are great. Going through Holyrood Park right now, and we're just past the palace. The best bar in Brunsfield, Black Ivy. Of course, this is a good location for students to come because you've got Napier University up there, as I said earlier. very cool on a nice summer's day but even if it's not a summer you can have these brollies up and a little fire there and let's head up to Morningside Turn the corner. I've had to put my sunglasses on. This is Edinburgh for you. Now, Brunsfield Links across here, which takes you right into the meadows as well, which is very popular. Now you're hitting all the really good independent shops. Spoilt for choice. A Earl Grey tea shop. Brunsfield is a place where you can get a nice, very posh cup of tea after you've been to some of the really posh Prada second-hand shops. Brunsfield and Morningside is really well known for that. So if you've not got any money and you want to buy something Prada or designer, then nip into some of these second-hand shops and you'll be sure to get a great find here. This is Holy Corner here. Now, why is it called Holy Corner? Because you've got four churches. You've got the church there, there, and there's all different. You've got the Christ Church. You've got one of these churches that are actually built into the wall. I can't remember exactly which one it is need to really give it a good look and get a good bit of history. You can see why people want to stay in Brunsfield area. Now coming up you're going to see one of my favourite bars. Can you tell I used to stay here? <laughs> I loved it here. As I said earlier that this is definitely the second best place for students to come and stay in Edinburgh or international investors would want to buy in this area. Considered to be very posh. Fur coat and knee knickers. <laughs> EH10, EH10 all the way. There's a beautiful restaurant up here, it's called Nona's. It's been here for absolutely years. Really beautiful homemade, homemade food and it's really popular. I'm going to take you along quickly to the cinema, which is just along here. It is the only independent cinema left. It was the Camerons that had this, and it's a few generations of the Camerons called the Dominion, and it's love first class at cinema. It says theatre with the star appeal. A lot of celebrities that are all photographed down the stairs there. If you go down here, I'll show you. Humphrey Bogart. Marilyn Monroe, Lana Turner, oh it's not, it's Ingrid Bergman, Ingrid Bergman I think. <laughs> yeah. Of course it was Lauren Bacall, how could I get that wrong? Billy Connolly, you couldn't get wrong of course. <laughs> remember but when I did my sample video for Woodcroft Road, the penthouse, which is just over there, here yeah, that's the penthouse one that I did the, the video on. 
Now this would be your front entrance, which is very, very posh because you've got all these beautiful mixture of Victorian type houses. And then you can walk up here into all this space. All different sizes of houses from one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. <laughs> and what I'm really loving is that you've got your underground car park as well. It's quite secluded away from all that noise in Morningside, which is great. Let's go, it's getting cold. Yeah, we're coming up to the Canny Man. This bar dates back to 1871. And it was voted the best pub in the world by Rick Steen, who's a celebrity chef. And if you go inside there, you're going to see all the artefacts. You might get a bit of a fright when you see <laughs> some of the things hanging from that ceiling. It used to be quite a cliquey bar. There's only those and such used to get in there. But nowadays, I think they just, it's quite family oriented, so they just let everybody in. And it's a really, really nice bar. Now over there, these are all the Victorian houses I was talking about. And then we're coming straight up to the morning side clock. This is considered to be a great spot for a selfie. Not sure how long the clock's been here, but probably as long as Morningside. But when you go up here, it takes you right up past Comiston Road, and then you've got the braids if you're going up that hill where I used to stay, which is what I miss. <laughs> so we're going to go up there now, up to the braids, and then we're just going to go and grab a coffee. I think it's time, camera lady, to get a coffee? <laughs> Cake this time? Yes. Sure? Yeah. Promise? Yep. <laughs> This is the Braid Hills, We've got the, the Blackford Hills, four hills here. Many a times I've climbed up there. Morningside as much as I do. Why would you stay in a place like Morningside? Then in conclusion, again it's a bit like Stockbridge, what I was saying last week is you get that real sense of community while you're there. It's really like it's its own village. There's all the shops there and everything's there, your cafes and your restaurants and your bars and you can walk wherever you're going. But out of all the houses, which ones would you actually say was the best? For me, the Woodcroft road really is it's just brilliant because it's a kind of set off and it's all modern and yet you've got you've got the best of both for us what do you think anyway i got myself a nice coffee she did buy me a cake this week camera lady <laughs> and i'm supposed to be on my <laughs> low carbs diet i hope you'll join me next week for some more of edinburgh hope you're enjoying the videos please check my TE video production website. Just do look at the penthouse, as I said earlier, because I was right on that Woodcroft Road there. That's where I did the penthouse, so that was really, really nice. Don't be put off with the weather in Edinburgh, as I said. Look what happened this morning. It was raining, and then we got glorious sunshine, and I did get the chance to wear my sunglasses. See you next week, guys. Do subscribe, like, and share. If you require video and you want me to showcase your pr property, like the ones that I've got, there's sample videos that I've actually got on T video production on the website, then do check them and then do give it a try guys and take advantage of the 10% back for any videos that you request. And I'll see you soon, Sunday. See you soon, bye!